going on guys, a Grouch here, bringing you guys another facts video. Now today, I thought I'd venture into a new realm that hasn't been covered on my channel yet. Lately, I've gone back into the Yu-Gi-Oh card game just playing with my buddies, and I thought, you know, this would probably be a cool idea to make a video on. So today, we're going to be counting down 10 facts about the Dark Magician. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys this video will appeal to, but for those select few, this one's for you. Currently, the Dark Magician card holds the record for the second highest number of alternate artworks in the card game, having been given a total of 6 so far, being beaten out only by the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Dark Magician is definitely one, if not the most iconic monster in the whole Yu-Gi-Oh franchise, being rivaled only again by the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is likely a result of their popularity in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, as they are both the signature cards of main series protagonists Yugi Moto and Seto Kaiba. The Dark Magician also seems to have a pretty big role in all the other Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series, a bit more than you may have originally realized. You see, the Dark Magician, as well as all future protagonist ace cards, all share the same attack strength of 2500. This includes Elemental Hero Neos from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Stardust Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, Number 39 Utopia from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V. I believe it's also worth mentioning that all the monsters just listed share a defense power of 2000 except the Dark Magician. However, the Bondi version of the Dark Magician card did in fact have 2,000 defense points, and frankly, I find it unlikely that this is simply a coincidence. It is also the only signature card to not follow a white color scheme, as well as being something other than a dragon or a warrior type, which, if you ask me, makes him pretty unique. The Dark Magician is likely the single most supported card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, having 15 different cards which state Dark Magician as part of their effect, as well as inspiring a number of other Magician-themed cards. The Dark Magician has also made an appearance on the artwork of 12 other cards in the game. Relating to the last fact, the Dark Magician has also spawned a number of alternate counterparts. To just name a few, the Magician of Dark Illusion, Arcana's Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, the Magician of Black Chaos, the Toon Dark Magician, the Dark Magician Knight, and many others which would just take too long to list. In the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series, created by Toei Animation commonly known by fans as Season Zero, the Dark Magician was originally just called Dark Wizard, and despite it becoming Yu-Gi's iconic trump card in the next series, he never once played it in the show. Despite the last fact, however, the Dark Magician has appeared in all Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series to date, either in play or just as card artwork. And as I already mentioned, this card was never played by Yu-Gi in the original series, however it can be seen in card form in Episode 3. As its card description implies, the Dark Magician has the highest total combined sum when it comes to the attack and defense of any normal monster wizard, having a combined total of 4600. However, the Cosmo Queen, which is also a normal spellcaster, actually has a higher combined total than the Dark Magician, coming in with 5350 combined attack and defense points. However, because she is the Cosmo Queen and thus not male, she is technically not a wizard, keeping the Dark Magician at number 1. I thought this one was pretty cool, not gonna lie. The alternate art Red Dark Magician used by Arcana in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and manga has a different 8-digit passcode than the Purple Dark Magician commonly used by Yu-Gi-Oh! Moto, making them two completely different monsters despite having the exact same stats. However, because of this, in some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games for both the Game Boy Advance as well as Nintendo DS, it is possible to have 6 Dark Magicians in one deck, as the game simply could not recognize the alternate artworks as being the same. The Dark Magician, along with the Blue Eyes White Dragon, are the only two cards to have an official Chinese print before the release of their respected dual starter decks. However, this version was actually made within Japan and included a character which looks like this. This character was only placed on the cards created in Japan and differs from the ones for the Chinese counterpart, which look like this. And after doing a bit of digging, I managed to find this specific card on eBay for sale for a whopping $1,950. At least I think that's it. Either way, that's pretty crazy. I don't know who would pay for that.
And there you have it guys, 10 facts about the Dark Magician from Yu-Gi-Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, there were some pretty interesting things I learned simply by making it and hopefully you guys got something out by watching. I'm not exactly sure how popular this game is anymore as I myself hadn't played it for many years until just recently, but depending on the feedback I receive on this video, I might just continue doing facts on some of the other well-known cards in the series. I think that would be pretty cool, so if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like down to let me know. Although I doubt I'll be able to cover every single card in the game, for now we can focus on the more popular ones. So if you guys have a specific monster or character from the Yu-Gi-Oh series that you would like to see a video on, feel free to leave me your ideas in a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you could tap that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe for future videos. If you have an idea for a top 10, leave a comment down below, I make top 10s on just about anything. With that being said, I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.